So over here you can see that I have character animator opened up and I have this file that is a puppet imported already known as Nutcracker where I have this simple uh, character right here. So here I have three layers. So the top layer right here is just a shape as I want to show you. This is just a shape and the bottom layer is uh, the mouth of the character that we are going to use as a Nutcracker jaw and then the third one is the face right here. So now you have the mouse right here and now you have uh, like a yellow color circle that covers up the mouth. So now what I want to do is I want to apply uh, the Nutcracker behavior onto this so that it behaves like a Nutcracker uh, mouth shape. So to do that, what you have to do is you have to select the shape that you want to behave as Nutcracker. So I'm just going to disable the top layer first and select this one. And I'm going to click here. This is the jaw right here. So this is going to act uh, as a jaw right here. And then what I need to do is I need to add in a behavior called Nutcracker jaw, just like this. So once I do that, what happens is that I can go to record right here. I'm just going to create a new scene out of it. So I'm just going to go to new scene and you can see this is what happens. So as I speak, the whole character actually moves up and down and that is something that we do not want. So I'm going to go back onto the puppet right here and then what I'm going to do is click on uh, this icon right here. Once I do that and click on record, then you can see that only the mouth moves up and down as you can see uh, as I speak. So if I were to double click on this and if I were to uh, like enable this one, now what happens is that it covers up the mouth. And if I were to go to record now, you can see that this is how it actually functions. So as I speak, uh, this actually comes down and it seems as if the character is opening out the mouth. So that is how it actually functions. Let me just go over here and if I were to go around over here, I'll be able to uh, select this, move this around. So I'm just going to go around uh, right onto the top just like this. And this is the mouse right here. I do not always want it closed. So I just want to keep it right here. So if I were to go to record, now this is what it seems like. But I feel like the mouth is moving too much at the bottom. So what I want to do is I want to go around over here on the Nutcracker jaw behavior. So you can see that it takes in camera input and audio input. You can go around and you can adjust the flappiness as well. So you can really decrease this out and you can see that it decreases the flappiness of the audio. So it uh, goes really low. So it says maximum movement over here as well. So if I were to really decrease this out, you can see that it does not go beyond. If, if I were to do this, then it, we can really control out how much it actually moves out as well. So I can really increase out the movement as well. Another thing that I can do is I can let it rotate as well, just like this. And that is how it seems. If I were to go to rotation and clockwise, you can see that that is how it seems. I'm just going to leave it to position right here. And I'm just going to decrease out the maximum movement part to let's say around 10% right here so that it does not move too much. I can decrease the audio flappiness or increase that out to increase the sensitivity level right there. And that is how you can work around with the Nutcracker jaw uh, inside of character animator. So if you guys learn something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.